What's up, everybody? It is now Wednesday. Uh, got over here at the customer. Uh, God, what was we left out this morning at, well, I got up this morning, what was it, like 6 o'clock, started my free trip at 6.13, rolled out by 6.23, and now we're up here, it's 10, 10.33. <laughs> well, but yeah, we got all the way up here, so we're at the customer. Um, the only thing that sucks is there's two other TMCs in front of me. Uh, so, no, we're just kind of, kind of just sitting here, just waiting for our turn. So, might be a minute. We'll see how things go. And uh, yeah, check back in with you guys once we get unloaded and we get our next load. All right, all right. So, <laughs> we got unloaded, uh, and as I was getting unloaded, I had another load come in with an appointment time. So I. Literally got unloaded, got behind the wheel, and took off. Woo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just sucked, because, like, the appointment time was for uh, 2 p.m. I didn't get here until 2.30. Uh, mostly because, I mean, distance. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't going to make that appointment time regardless, but then all this construction off of 275 up near Detroit, Michigan it was a pain in the butt too. It like took all three lanes down to one lane and then it was like two interstates merging into one. It was like, oh God, why would you do that? Your roads suck anyways, Michigan. No offense, Michigan, but offense, your roads suck. Um, but yeah, so we're up here uh, picking up, I was in Monroe, Michigan. We're picking up steel beams, steel bars, call it and uh, uh i've been here numerous times but it's like whew. every time i come here it's usually i'm like out out in the yard this time i actually got to back into a bay i'm getting loaded in the bay so um dispatch let's go over some of the mileage all right so mileage wise all right for the bounce they get from the customer or where i dropped off to get to here uh the dispatch was 100 miles, it was 112 miles, so it was 12 miles out of route, no big deal. And then the loaded miles dispatch is 301. Um, and then actual miles is 308. So it's not too, too hard, really bad. Um, I know like mileage people, every mile counts. So like if you're on miles uh, or cents per mile, like, you know, you'd be, you know, you're out of route, you're, you know, you want to take keep it as minimum as, or as low as possible obviously because you only want to get paid for the miles that you're supposed to drive uh percentage wise mileage is not that not it really doesn't really matter i mean mileage goes into the factor of when they determine how much they're going to charge for a load uh but as far as like for me driving um mileage doesn't really matter no like this load 301 miles is a dispatch it's like a 900 I shouldn't assume I should just say what it is it's uh 800 this load pays 807 and 86 cents uh, for 300 miles that's not bad at all um, if you want to get real technical then you could add in you know the bounce miles too because you know you're, you're loaded and you're unloaded miles which is just, what 400 miles and if you're paying 800 then it's like I don't know, math two two bucks a mile I guess I guess that's how you want to look at it honestly the only time I ever really take mileage into consideration is if I have like a two-day run so if I have a run that's going two days what is it gonna pay overall because if you have like a two-day run that pays twelve hundred dollars you divide that by two because you're working two days for the same load that's only six hundred bucks a day whereas if you had a two-day run for two thousand dollars then that's a thousand dollars a day you know that's not bad not at all. And usually two day, two day runs are usually just like I don't know anywhere between seven to nine hundred miles. I mean, you can get like the load that we dropped off in North Carolina at the beginning of the week. That one was like eleven hundred miles. Um, and we knocked out a good chunk of it just getting to uh, where I live. So, but yeah, but yeah, back then everything's set up. Uh, just waiting for them to go ahead and put the bars on. There's a guy next to me that they're loading right now. 
Um, so they're putting his bars on and then I will be next after him. Another thing, <laughs> brought up showers. Wanted to take a shower today because I really, I wanted to shower yesterday. I wanted to take a shower today. And uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna work out because by the time I get out of here, what is it? It's three, it's almost four o'clock now. I'm not even loaded yet. So hopefully by the time they load me, I can be out of here by like five o'clock. But again, you get out of here by five o'clock, trying to find parking is gonna be a nightmare. And that's uh, that's literally it. Like if it wasn't for truck parking, it would be so much easier. Um, I could have, if I really wanted to, been between customers, between drop off and pickup, I could have stopped to take a shower. Um, but again, like I'm sitting here and I'm just sweating, waiting to get loaded. So it's just like it feels, I don't know, feels it's dumb. Depending on how long the customer takes. If there's a line you have to wait in, how long it's going to take you to secure, uh, time of day, parking. So, um, yeah. But we should be able to make it to the customer tonight and uh, park up. So that should put us ahead of the, it should put us on the right side of the clock tomorrow morning. And then uh, we'll hit the road. So going to Lexington, Kentucky, which means we're going back to the Grove. <laughs> all, right. all right what's up again it is thursday uh yeah so uh got out of that customer by 6 p.m and i had exactly enough like literally just enough to make it to the customer uh so we were able to get to the customer last night by 11. um might ask, well, if you got up so early in the morning, you know, how could you go all the way until 11 o'clock? Well, what ended up happening is when we were sitting at that customer, we were at the customer for a little bit over three hours. And uh, so what ended up happening was it kicked in a uh, split log. Uh, split log is either a seven and three split or a eight and two split. And so because I sat there for three hours, well, yeah, three hours. Uh, I ended up doing the two, the two and eight. Uh, so all it does is what it does is it stops your 14 and kicks it back. And uh, so that way I was able to push my 14 hour back. So then I was able to use that time that I had left. So then instead of my 14 overlapping, uh, should I do it this way? Sure, I don't know. Instead of my 14 overlapping my 11, we were able to kick the 14 back, so I was able to use what was left on my 11 hour clock, and we were able to use that to get all the way over here to the customer. Um, so, my 10 hours are officially up, we're officially unloaded, and now we're just uh, standing by for a new load. And, uh, yeah, what time did I say it was? 9.06. It's 9.06 now. So, yeah. Luckily, we made it to the customer, so we got a fresh clock, so there should be zero, zero, zero excuses why I can't take a shower today. So, and chances are we're gonna go back to the Grove. Um, just because there's, like, there's a certain, like, radius of the Grove. If you're within that radius, you're going to the Grove. Uh, we're a really big hauler out of that, that cu uh, customer. Um, for those of you who drive for teams, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go there there's tons of tmc's it's ridiculous sometimes there's more there than there is at the terminal um <laughs> but we're gonna head back there and get another wall bar load probably something that goes to like illinois and uh go from there i'll check back in with you guys in a second as soon as we get the next load so i can break down the next load for you guys all right all right what's up peeps uh, okay, so we got our next load, and it's exactly the exact same, uh, same load as yesterday. I'm uh, gonna go back to the Grove, gonna get another wall bar load, we're gonna go back to the exact same customer we delivered to yesterday. Uh, which I have actually, I don't have a complaint about that. I actually, uh, <laughs> it's funny too, because once you start doing this job long enough, you're gonna start to know things like, I don't know, a lot of people just 
second nature you're gonna start to just know and uh, I had this, this feeling that uh, they're gonna want to send me to Wisconsin and I don't want to be in Wisconsin on a Friday mostly well honestly the only reason know where they're gonna send me in Wisconsin and it's like a six hour drive to the house and you got to go around Chicago and going around Chicago it sucks <laughs> and being Friday you know you want to get home as quick as possible so this way uh, go to Michigan I'm gonna go right back to Lansing and uh, it's easier to get home from there pretty much take 69 all the way down to uh, 465 around Indianapolis and then I live off the 74 which is off the Indianapolis loop so it makes life so much easier that way um, but yeah so we're gonna do this and this is gonna set us up because now we're gonna have plenty enough time to stop take a shower get up to the customer park up for the night be hopefully the first one in line and then that way Tomorrow morning, get up 07, get unloaded, get ready to go, and uh, pick up a load and get home Friday. So, uh, we've already cleared over 5,000 to the truck, which is well above the company uh, minimum the company wants you to make. Um, yeah, about it. So, the dispatch miles to get to, the, uh, get to Shipper was 107 miles. Actual miles was a hundred or not hundred was uh, ninety miles. So obviously we're under the over route. Oh, over out of route. Uh, that's what I meant. We we're under the uh, we're under route, not over route, right? Under. I know what the hell I'm trying to say. But yeah, so we're making up for any out of route mileage. Again, we're making the difference of today. So. This is going. And I packed my wrong pants. These are my tight fitting pants. Alright, uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright, what's up, dudes? Uh, so we're loaded. I got in. There was a pre preloaded trailer. So I just wanted to get in, get the trailer, get swapped over and done. Got there, uh, let's say 11, what was it, it was 11.10, no, 11.20. Let's say 11.15, you know what, I, I'll go back in the logs and write all this down. So whatever I put up here is actually correct, not what's coming out of my mouth. And uh, now it is 12. Just say 1240 1239 whatever and we were back out on the road uh got a truck stop and route we go to a flying j stop clean myself get all squeaky clean get some of this dirt off my arms and my face i do keep tons of clothes in the truck so like every day i'm changing socks undies shirts all that good stuff i got multiple pairs of jeans so um, at least i got that going for me but uh yeah so got all that, got hooked up, gotta go right back to the same customer we were just the other day. And uh, they were at the Grove again. And uh, this time they got Chick-fil-A. There you go, Chick-fil-A. Now I think it's way too overpriced chicken. Uh, if people like Chick-fil-A, cool, I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, <laughs> but like me personally, I don't, I don't go to Chick-fil-A's. Those lines are ridiculous. And I think the chicken's just way overpriced. It's not that good, but when it's free, it's delicious. So I got that to enjoy, and uh, yay! Gonna go uh, 70, 71 miles until we get to the truck stop. And that way, we're just up past uh, Cincinnati, right up near Dayton, Ohio. It's where the truck stops at. So, yeah, gonna get up there, shower, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Man, I'm not.
not even actually tired. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. All right, it's uh, Friday morning. Uh, feel great. I was able to stop, get that shower. <sighs> Need it. I felt like 10 pounds lighter as soon as I like washed the filth off. It's like my pants fit. I don't know. That's weird. You guys ever have that? It's like you take a shower and then all of a sudden your pants fit. <laughs> uh, real muffin top going on with these bad boys. And uh, got over here to the customer. I was like. 7:15 p.m. Got here to the customer. I pulled uh, the prep. I pulled all the straps off, and then I left a bungee on all four corners to hold the tarp in place. And then the note said that they start receiving at 06. So I got up this morning at 5:30. Um, started pulling my tarps off. There's another team C driver here. He assisted with my tarps. I assisted him with his tarps. Um, you know, cause. That's what we do for each other. We help each other. And, uh, yeah. Got unloaded. And then, it was weird. It's almost kind of like I've been doing this long enough. I requested a load or asked. I was like, hey, we get this load Friday? You know, like, this is kind of what I want. And then, uh, friend of mine is like oh hey conveniently that load that you asked for happens to be available would you like that load oh yes yes I would like that load thank you very much so uh, getting the load that I wanted it's coming out of Delta Ohio and it's going to st. Joseph Missouri it pays really good it's a really easy run it's not hard at all and uh, yeah so we're gonna be doing that uh, doesn't have a it has a pickup time like this afternoon and it's like eight in the morning so we're gonna scoot over there and just show up early and just see if they can't just squeeze us in line people over there at Delta they're pretty they're pretty uh, pretty chill pretty cool and uh, yeah it's pretty much got you guys caught up I'm excited it's Friday I'm clean I'm not tired I feel amazing had breakfast um yeah, that's about it yep 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 I'll catch up with you guys over in uh in Ohio all right come back <laughs> so we got over to the customer got loaded we're already on the road I apologize uh should have uh, should have I don't know this is like a new try, you know, trying something out, seeing what this is like. Um, but yeah, so got, to, got, it's Friday. I'm trying to get home. Okay, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, got to the customer. My fleet manager Scott, who is uh, off status, while I was en route, he got the appointment time changed from two o'clock in the afternoon to ten. So we literally got there at ten o six, and we are now leaving at uh, 11.30. So we get literally checked in, got loaded, got secured, tarped, all that good stuff. And we were out within an hour and a half, which is not bad at all. Um, yeah, it's really not that bad at all. And then we're headed to the house now. It's about two and a half, three hours away from here. So we're gonna head on over there. The dispatch models for the bounce was miles was 102 but the tremble wanted me to like take a right go down this road a couple miles and then flip a U to come back when literally at the intersection I could just turn left and skip that so I imagine we cut about cut about four miles off the route so we were actually under uh, the dispatch miles which is perfect and then the loaded miles I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but it doesn't really matter because we're going home and home is out of route so like when you go home on the weekends, TMC gives you like this 200 mile auto route courtesy thing, courtesy, courtesy buffer. So like, not like 200 miles in one direction, but like 200 miles in total auto route. And you don't, you know, don't get, what is, that's a, honestly I've never really gave a crap about it. 
never really thought about it. I kind of just do me. A lot of a lot of guys get all worked up about their the miles per gallon, uh, their idle time, and all the stuff. Like me, I'm man, I'm just here to go. Like make as much revenue as I can and be parked up. Those those are my top two things. Like if you come to TNC, just work about work on your revenue and work on uh, parking up. Those are how you're gonna get the most points because of the point structure. Now I'm rambling. Um, yeah. So for those of you that care about you're out of route, uh, you don't get dinged with it, I guess. Because you know how they check your out of route mileage and you gotta keep it down below a certain percentage or whatever. I don't know. I don't like it's I don't really care. I don't really pay attention to it. I just kinda kinda do me, but uh yeah, we're en route to the house. I'm going to stop along the way. There's a pilot with a Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to go in there and give me a coffee. And uh, race home. Catch you guys when I get home. All right, peeps. So it's the end of the week. As you can see, I got Mrs. Giraffe right next to me. Uh, that's right, we're officially home. Got home at about 4 o'clock. Uh, had to hang out for a little bit until she got here. She was picking some stuff up. We did uh, pottery like a month ago and it just took forever for them to give it back to us. But uh, yeah, so that's how this entire week went. Hopefully you guys found this a bit useful. I tried to break things down, show you guys a little bit more time frame as far as how things work. Uh, no loads camera this week. We're gonna have a training with us next week. Um, I haven't talked to him yet, so I don't know if he likes jokes or doesn't like jokes. So I'm gonna leave all my jokes until next week. But once you guys see them, you'll know exactly why I have some jokes in store. Um, but, yeah. Uh, other than that, talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, wait. No. How do I want to do it? No. As always, or I should, well, yeah. As always, don't forget to be awesome. You guys are amazing. Later.